uh, moral of the story is that the indifference curves have got to look uh, something like this in order to get an inter interior solution or to have the consumer buying a combination of A uh, and B. We can draw in a difference curve that looks like this and we can uh, say that suppose the individual is at A. Then we know that the individual can, uh, would prefer B to A because again there's more of it of both uh, at B than A. We know that combination C is on the same indifference curve as B. Therefore, uh, since B is greater value to A, C is of equal value to B, then C must be preferred to A. The individual will move uh, from A to C. The individual will not move down uh, his or her budget constraint because he or she will be moving to a lower uh, indifference curve. We can take combination D and argue that if the individual were at D, uh, there is some combination E um, uh, that is of greater value than D. We know that C is on the same indifference curve as, as E. And therefore, C must be of greater value to D. So the moral of the story is that the consumer is going to be uh, in equilibrium where the indifference curve is tangent to the budget constraint. And by the way, this is the point at, of highest attainable uh, satisfaction by the consumer. The consumer might like to move to uh, indifference curve uh, two, but it's outside of the individual's uh, budget constraints. Now suppose that we are at uh, combination uh, C, and the price of good A were to rise, which means that the individual would not be able to buy as much of A, and Suppose the price of B uh, goes down. That is, the individual can buy more of B if that's all the individual is buying. Moral of the story is uh, that we can have the budget constraint sort of pivot uh, on this um, on a point C and move to a curve that looks like looks like this. That is moves from a position of A2, uh, B2, to a position of A3, uh, sorry, uh, B3. Well, if in fact the individual can do that, then there is a point, uh, uh, there is an indifference curve that is tangent uh, at this curve uh, at point uh, F. And would the individual move there? Yes, uh, because uh, there is a point G that is of greater value to C. F is of equal value to G. Hence, F is of greater value to C. So when, in fact, you have uh, the price of B going uh, down, the price of A going up, uh, we know that the individual is going to move in this uh, direction. That is, the individual will end up consuming A4 and uh, B4. Moral of the story is, when the price of B goes down, there is more B being bought. When the price of uh, A goes up, there is less A uh, being bought. Again, what we have demonstrated here is the uh, law uh, of, of demand. Now, do the indifference curves have to take on this bowed uh, shape? Well, the, uh, although most textbooks, including ours, draw the curve like this, uh, it doesn't have to be shaped like this. Indifference curves can look like this. They can be wavy, uh, thanks to an insight uh, made evident by uh, economist Gary Becker at the University of, of Chicago. Uh, note that there's nothing wrong with this curve. Uh, note that uh, it doesn't double back in the way in which we talked about uh, earlier. Uh, there is no doubling back. Uh, there is point, uh, let's see, point B and C. And so you have trade-offs at each point. So they can, in fact, be of, of equal value. Why do we draw the indifference curves looking like this? Well, uh, we draw them by uh, simple uh, convention. But also, notice that within the relevant range of the point of tangency or the point of consumer equilibrium, A, 
uh, the indifference curve does look like the standard uh, curve here. So one reason economists draw indifference curves like this is simply that it looks like the curve within the relevant range of, of equilibrium, but also they do it uh, because it's just, they're just easier uh, to, uh, uh, to draw. In a, a future uh, video module, we will uh, apply uh, the indifference curves to problems like subsidizing uh, disadvantaged people and also uh, uh, apply it to uh, uh, the problems of paying workers who, who, whom you want to hire and are being moved from a low housing cost area to a high housing cost area. Thank you very much.